These are the trends that are going out of style. They're starting to be phased out. They're kind of some things that you may be ready to get rid of, maybe not. Maybe you didn't even care when they were actually a trend. <laughs> so you're just like, who cares? Um, but I'm gonna do this video a little differently this time. And uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean when we get started. I'm also gonna include, I just thought of, cause I gotta talk about it, two trends that I didn't really think were actually happening. But now that we've kind of gotten into the year a little bit, they are actually, I think they're actually gonna be a thing. And um, I'll mention those at the end cause they're really weird. All right, let's get started. So this trend is, you know, I'm ready for it to go because I just, I didn't like it on me. Um, but the super oversized, you know, we've been talking about that for the last two or three years, maybe even longer, I don't know. But the suit, not not regular oversized, we're like, oh, where my, you know, husband shirt is a little oversized, not that, no, 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 no. I'm talking about the ones where you wear the jacket that looks like you weigh 90 pounds and your boyfriend weighs 300 pounds of pure muscle and you borrowed his blazer. That the kind, that's kind of oversized, where it's like hanging off of you, hanging off your arms, um, or it's like a button up like this, and you have to go down three sizes to be regular oversized. Like even this shirt, I had to get it in a small, I'm more like a medium, and I like things a little bit oversized, I like them loose fit, but I don't want them to like swallow me. And I had to get the small, because that's the one that fit the way I wanted it to. I normally wear a medium, sometimes a large. I'm happy to see this kind of work its way out, and what's gonna be in instead are just like regular oversized, regular loose fit, the kind that's more wearable that we can all wear and probably all really love wearing, it's kind of going that way. Now, dare I say, in a couple of years, maybe next year, maybe next fall, who knows, we're gonna be talking about some nipped in blazers. I don't know if we'll ever go back to the fitted blazer that were kind of uncomfortable every time you moved your arms like this. But I do see the like, you know, nipped in blazers becoming a thing it's on the horizon. But that's a trend I can be like, bye bye. <laughs> okay, so how I'm doing this differently this year is I look at fashion magazines like Vogue and Who What Wear and like online, big online publications all the time. It's super fun. It's like my, you know, before bed relaxing um, thing that I do. I know I'm not supposed to be looking at my phone, but I do. And I love looking to see what they say is going out of style. And some I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. Like that is kind of like, you don't really see that anymore. Or they'll bring something up and I'm like, there's no way. Like maybe that's out of style for Prada but it's not out of style for us regular people. So I'm taking a lot of these from there. And the oversized trend is definitely one that I saw a publication mention, I don't remember which one, and I was like, oh yeah, I can definitely see that heading out. So it hasn't headed out yet, but I can definitely see it going away. Sort of along those same lines, and I don't really know if anyone's gonna be upset about this, but the big, huge puff, le puff sleeves, they are, being toned down as well. And you really only saw them in like a fancy cocktail dress or something that's like going out-ish or you know on fashion week or something. No one was wearing big humongous puffy sleeves to Target or maybe they were and that's amazing. But that whole thing was, it was kind of reserved for more of the fancy occasions. So I, it, I'm not gonna miss that. Um, but what's kind of on trend instead is not so much the big puffy sleeve, but it's a lot of girly elements like small puffs, little ruffles, little lace, sheer, like things that are kind of feminine, but not crazy huge, like only can wear them certain occasions, huge. I do you think the small little puff is staying around for a while. I think it's a cute look. It's a great look for like basic items to make them look a little more special. So I don't see that going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, this is next trend is one that I've seen a couple places mention and I have to agree. I just, I really don't think it ever took off like it did the first time. And what I'm talking about are the high low hems. Do you remember it was like 2018 or 16 or something and like everything was high low or like everyone wanted a high low hem and we loved it so much and it was huge, huge in dresses and um, everything kind of went away for 2020, um, but it tried to come back a little bit and I even have a skirt that is high low and I will for sure wear it this spring and summer. It's on sale if you're interested um, because I just, I like that particular skirt. But you're not gonna see a whole lot of high low hems this year in the more fashion forward, um, stores. It just never really took off and stores aren't going to sell things that aren't selling. By the way, I have a really bad cold. I am going to lay down after this, but it's the only day I could film and I get so happy whenever I film and talk to you guys. It's just so much fun. So I'm sorry that I sound so like nasally. Anyway, so the high low hem is being replaced by full length maxi lengths. No slit, no high low, just a full, you know, same amount of length all the way around the skirt. Uh, maxi dresses and I I really love this look. I feel like it looks very polished and classic and classy and it's a beautiful look. I do feel like 
you could go in the direction of looking kind of frumpy with these sometimes. You have to be careful about what you put on top. You gotta make sure it's a top that balances well with these skirts. But the direction is kind of going that way as opposed to the high-low hem. This next one I have definitely seen on a couple publications, but I, even if I hadn't, I would be like, yeah, this is just not a big thing this year. And it's animal print. Now, before you get upset, it's not all animal print, like the classic leopard print, or even a classic zebra in a portion of your outfit, or maybe some version of it, like an abstract version of it as a top or something like that. That's kind of always in style. It's very classic look. But what I'm talking about is, do you remember, and you, you know you do, it was like leopard or snake and, um, what are animals? Cheetah, all mixed together in the same outfit. Or like it was head to toe animal print. Like it was like all animal print and we were all wearing it and it was beautiful and we loved it. Anything that gets that big, people just start to get tired of it, especially with prints. So we're kind of back to animal print being a classic, you know, a leopard coat or a leopard shoe or, you know, a zebra um, skirt or something. Not so much python print, faux leather, jumpsuit, with uh, cheetah boots or something. It's just, it's kind of been toned down. I don't know if we're gonna go back there for several years. I bet you a million dollars it's gonna be several years before we go back to that much animal print. Now, if you're sitting here and you're like, woman, I have a snake print faux leather jumpsuit that I love to wear with my cheetah boots, wear the dang thing. If you feel amazingly beautiful in that outfit, please wear it, my goodness, because whenever we feel good about what we're wearing, it looks great. And I'm just, you know, this is a fun video. You know, this is, fashion is definitely subjective. You don't have to not wear something just because it's going out of style. With trends that are going in and out of style, what this normally means is that you might have a harder time finding that item at the stores that are very fashion forward or like to have the latest trends. Like they're just not gonna have everything animal print like they did a while back. This is one I saw on a list of one of those magazines. I think it was Who, What, Where. And it was like, pattern leggings are not gonna be big in 2023. And I'm like, well, yeah, I don't know if, I don't even see anybody wearing pattern leggings anymore. The LuLuRoe kind of thing. Um, not, not like they were, like it used to be like, you couldn't swing a dead cat without hitting someone wearing LuLuRoe <laughs> pattern leggings. So that's kind of phased out. Do what you will with them. If you still love wearing them, of course still wear them, but it, it's kind of hard to find them now. Like I don't even know where you would buy them. So yes, I do believe they are kind of had their wave and um, they're taking a break for a while. And one of the things, a trend that's coming back that I was like, for real? But I kind of feel like I want to try it. Just let me, you know what, let me not ride it off immediately. Let me just try it and see how I like it. But it's the stirrup leggings. Um, <laughs> they've been trying to come back and I think they're really, I think you're gonna see them in stores. I don't know, man, I just, even when I wore them the first time, I don't remember how old I was. I don't know if they looked that great then. Maybe I'll like them. I love trying new things. This next one is a really big item that, please do not throw this item away at all. You need to keep this because it's not one of those that's ever out of style, but it's on the forefront of fashion sometimes and sometimes it isn't. What that is are denim mini skirts. The denim skirts, I have like four different ones. And will I wear them this spring? Of course I will, or summer. Like I definitely will, because they look a little more dressy than a denim pair of shorts, but they're still very casual. They really serve a good purpose here in Florida. But what is very on trend, and I think you'll see more of them this year, are the denim maxi skirts. Those, man, they have been coming back for a while. And I was kind of wondering if they would like take off. That's a little tough for us in Florida. And I do have a denim maxi skirt, but it has a big slit in the front so I can still wear it when it gets warmer. But that has been a very big thing. This next one is also one of those I would never want you to throw out. Like, oh my goodness. Um, if you're tired of it, all of these things, if you're tired of it, just put it away for a while, put it away for a season, see how you feel about it next year or the next or something. I have to do that with a lot of my clothes. The crossbody bags, they're just not really on the forefront of fashion anymore. Can you still find them in stores? Of course you can because they're very practical, they're very functional, but you're not gonna see them just like every store you go to, there's like a model with an outfit and you know wearing a crossbody bag. It's more about the larger bags, the structured bags, things that could hold like your laptop, not so much just your phone. This is definitely one of those items that no one's ever going to point at you and be like, oh my gosh, how dare her wear a crossbody that's so out of style. Actually, I don't really know who, anybody who does that, like maybe in high school, but I definitely don't remember anybody in high school doing that. Well, it's probably because they were doing it to me. <laughs> they were picking on my clothes until I stopped wearing anything fun and started dressing like I gave up on life and um, yeah, that was a bad time. Wow, you learned a lot about Anna in five seconds. 
Anywho, um, you know, there's, I don't think anyone's ever going to do that about anything, but a crossbody bag is very functional. You know, you'll probably just use the ones that you have. If you're looking for a new one, maybe look at thread up. It might be a good time to find one secondhand. So last year, and maybe it started the year before, I don't remember, but the super, like literally this big, micro mini skirt was all over fashion and, you know, Instagram and everything. And there's really only three people. I don't know who those three people are. Three people in the world who would actually wear that and actually sit down and not show everything. I don't know who that is because that's, that's a really short skirt. Um, that's not lasting very long, is it? Because it's just, it's just really not practical. Even the people who can wear that are probably like, okay, did I take the picture? Let me take it off. So what is coming back and what is more in, although it's definitely a classic item, I don't think these ever go out of style, but it's a more pencil length skirt. It's a pencil skirt, the knee length, fitted knee length skirt. But these were kind of out for a while, not out of style. But you just weren't really finding them many places besides Ann Taylor. So, you know, if they're coming back and they're more of a fashion thing, you might find them in a lot more stores. Um, this is definitely one that you probably already have in your closet, but this is definitely a classic item. This next one, okay, it was, um, it was really big for a while and don't even say you didn't do it because I know you did, <laughs> um, but it's loud luxury. And I've kind of always like poked a little bit at the head to toe brand logos, like the celebrities that are literally a walking advertisement for these brands. And that's great if they're getting paid for it. I mean, I would too, like give me some money and I'll walk around in some Fendi, <laughs> in Fendi also. Um, but that's kind of going out and the way that this might affect you, or you might, and I feel like you might be, have already been tired of this and already kind of like, we're like, eh, let's give that a break for a while are the t-shirts like the Gucci logo t-shirt. That was a huge one. And it was like the Gucci logo t-shirt with a Gucci belt with a Gucci bag or a YSL bag or something. It was like a lot of logos going on as a casual look. That was definitely kind of a pre-2020 trend that was great. I'm sure it'll come back, but now we're kind of more moving into quiet luxury. Like you wear your Gucci belt with some other items that don't have logos on them, or you're carrying a logo branded Louis Vuitton, but it's not also paired with a Louis Vuitton shirt and belt and pants and all that stuff. It's more subtle luxury, which I feel like looks way more classy. We all know that looks way more classy than a lot of logos. A lot of logos is like a look. It's like a trendy look and that's wonderful. But I love that we're kind of going back to like an old money, um, you know, classic looking display of logos and <laughs> not all over the place. Just, it just kind of looks a little bit tacky to me. It's like too much for me personally. Don't come at me, but it's just too much for me. Okay, this next one, oh my goodness. So this one I've seen on several lists and I tell you it is not. But people keep saying, I don't know who those people are, but they keep saying that like greens are going out of style. Like the Kelly green, the grass green, the, um, the Bottega green, even the lime green that I talked about that is actually, I feel like definitely is going to be a huge trend this year, like this kind of color. You know, a lot of places are like, oh yeah, greens are out, now it's blue. I think we can have both. We can definitely have both. And blues like cerulean blue and the aquamarine are definitely big. They're coming in for this year. But also greens are still here. They're definitely still here. People love green. People find a shade of green that they love and they tend to like really go all in. Do I love green? Yes. Would I be wearing green if it wasn't in style? Also, yes. I love all shades of green. I have lots of green items. But the common folk over here, over here, are not gonna let green go out of style. It's a color too. And I even just got an H&M button down in green. They're brand new spring stuff that is a beautiful color green. Um, I don't see that going anywhere. Usually they are pretty ahead of the trends or their very own trend. So the two trends that I think are really gonna be back, I actually mentioned one of them already, the stirrup leggings, that's one of them. And this other one, oh my, like, oh my goodness, okay. I, I know this was like a runway thing and I was like, oh, that's kind of fun, funny. Um, but it'll never make it into regular old stores. But do you remember from like the 80s or the 90s? I don't have any idea. When you would wear a cover up and it would be like a woman in a bikini, like her body. It's along those lines. It's like a almost naked woman <laughs> or almost naked man on a garment that you wear out and about. And the reason why I think this is actually, you're gonna see it in a couple stores, maybe the really trendy fashion forward one is because I've already seen it for sale. I already saw it in a boutique for sale and I was like, oh my goodness gracious. So that it might be a trend. And it's kind of a funny one. Like that'd be funny. It'd be kind of a fun cover up, I guess. It kind of brings, it's like nostalgic. Um, I don't think they mean for it to be a nostalgic. I think they mean for it to be very chic and fashionable. A lot of celebrities will wear this, have already worn this, but that might be something you see. You can choose whether or not to partake in that. <laughs> and if you do, please let me know. 
think that's kind of fun. Okay, so I hope you liked this video and you got some inspiration out of it. You maybe you found a couple things that you're like, yeah, you know what? I am kind of tired of that, but I'm just gonna put it away for a while, try something new, rework my clothes and my wardrobe, and you know, just take what you love and leave the rest. So let me know what you think about any of these trends and I will see you next time.